Hey guys, so far we've looked at um, a couple of uh, things uh, to show that you know there's evidence that belief in God is logical and rational. Okay, we've looked at how the universe began, that it came from nothing, uh, it appeared, and, and we've looked at DNA, the fact that all living things have information at its core, and information comes from intelligence. Now today I want to look a little bit at the probability of, of all this being accidental. Okay? Now let's say, for example, uh, because, you know, you were, uh, you're trying to get into a university, right? Now, if I told you there's a 1 in 10 chance you might get in, then you have some hope, right? If I tell you there's a 1 in 1000 chance to get in, then there's a little bit less hope, but there's still hope. If I told you there was a 1 in 100 billion chance to get in, you'd say it's never going to happen. I mean, there's not even 100 billion people on the earth, right? Uh, so what if I told you there was 100 billion black cups, and there was one red cup, and blindfolded, you had to throw the ball anywhere, and it had to land in the red cup. What would be the possibility of that? It's practically zero, right? I mean, you wouldn't bet your life on it. Definitely not. I don't think any of us would bet our life on that. Um, now, why am I saying all this? Because, you know, if we're going to look at these things logically, science, science uses such things. It uses probability to determine whether or not something is possible, whether or not something is true, whether or not something should be rejected. Okay? Now, I just want to give you a couple of examples of, of um, how astronomically big the universe is, so that you can understand some of the things I'm about to tell you. Okay? There's one... There's... Actually, yeah, there's... The, the scientists have estimated that there's about 10 to the 80 particles in the universe. Now, what is 10 to the 80? I don't even know what, how to pronounce that number, but it's a 1 with 80 zeros after it. Okay? So, a 1 with 80 zeros. So, 1 with 3 zeros is a thousand, right? 1 with 6 zeros is a million. Okay? And you keep going. 1 with 80 zeros. That's how many particles are in the universe. Now, the probability of the universe being accidental is one in less, in, in a greater number than, than that ten, that number of particles in the universe. Okay, so let me just kind of give you a couple of examples. This, the, the, the universe is so finely tuned, okay, that if you just alter every, anything, just the slightest bit, everything would collapse. Okay, for example, there's something called the gravitational constant. Right, the gravitational constant, if you alter it, if it was altered by one part, one part in 10 to the 60, that means one with 60 zeros afterwards, then we wouldn't be here. Okay, and there's many more finely tuned similar things. There's something called uh, the cosmological constant, right? Now, if this were altered by one part, in 10 to the 120, that's more than the particles in the universe. One part in 10 to the 120, that's one with 120 zeros afterwards. Then the universe would have expanded too fast or too slow and we wouldn't be here. Okay, there's only, there's only, if you, if you, the number of seconds since time began is estimated to be uh, 10 to the 20 seconds. That's a one with 20 zeros after. Okay, so we're talking about numbers bigger than this, bigger than the number of seconds in the you know so far since time began. Okay, so if you have that small of a possibility that everything is accidental, because you know if you combine all of these, you get an even bigger number, and a number that I don't even know, uh, you know. So if 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 you're one part in all of that, then it's pretty much zero, right? It's pretty much zero possibility. It's pretty much impossible. If I told you to find one particle in the entire universe, that would be pretty much impossible. 
Now we're talking about numbers bigger than the number of particles in the universe. So um, scientists, in order to explain uh, this fact that everything is so finely tuned that it's absolutely pretty much impossible for it to be accidental, they come up with, with different theories that there's no evidence for. For example, like the multiverse, that there's an infinite number of universes and we just happen to be in the one that everything is tuned this way. The problem with that is all it does is push the problem one, one step back because in order to have an infinite number of universes all uh, tuned differently, etc., etc., et then you need to have something else that is finely tuned producing these universes. So it, it, just, it just doesn't work anyway. Um, so if, we're, if we were examining anything else, all right, if we were doing a scientific experiment right now, and you found that the probability of, of you being right was one in a billion, one in a hundred billion, one in a zillion, one in a one to the hundred zeros, whatever, okay, then you would reject it. You'd say, you know what, this is not happening. Something else, because the, the, the opposite must be right, okay? So if there's, um, if there's a one in a hundred chance, that's a one percent chance that I'm going to fall over, that means there's a 99% chance that I'm not going to fall over. Yeah? Did you get that? So if there's like a 5% um, chance that I won't sleep tonight, then there's a 95% chance that I will sleep tonight. So if there's a 1 in, in a gazillion chance that everything is accidental, that means there's a huge chance that everything is designed and deliberate, right? Because the opposite must be right. That means things are so finely tuned that it's pretty much impossible to happen accidentally, which means everything is pretty much guaranteed to be designed and deliberate.